take a good look. It's because of that great big pizza in the sky that people down there gotta struggle to survive. Shinra sucks up Mako while the soil turns to dust. The air feels with smoke. Hello, Internet. I'm Alley Cat, and today we'll be using the mention of pizza in Final Fantasy VII to make, you guessed it, a pizza. Here, you can see me struggling to open a shampoo bottle because I need to use the entire thing in order to look like him. Step one, however, is making the pizza dough. I'm not patient enough to make it by hand, but I will be making it from scratch. A stand mixer goes flour and yeast. The measurements will all be in the description. Give it a good mix before you do anything else and add in the salt. You want to mix everything up first, otherwise the salt will kill the yeast. Lastly, add in the water, attach the dough hook, and knead on medium speed for a while. Dump it out because your stand mixer isn't doing its job like you thought it would, and use the heel of your palm to push it into the countertop and bring it back towards you. Take the corners of the dough and tuck it under itself till it forms a ball, and throw it in your bowl to proof. Add a little olive oil and toss it around so it doesn't stick to the bowl. Cover with plastic wrap and proof until double in size. Once done, pour out onto an oil countertop, not a floured one. I don't want anybody being mad at me in the comments. The amount of dough I made was able to be split into three equal pieces. Do what you did earlier and shape them into balls. Make sure to tuck the corners under itself so a smooth ball can form. Transfer to an oil tray and once again let proof until double in size. It should take the same amount of time as it takes for Sephiroth to bully Cloud every day or about 45 minutes. While this is going, we're going to make our sauce. Chop up a few cloves of garlic into rough pieces. It just depends how you like your sauce, you can do it fine or rough. On a stove top, get a pan and warm up some olive oil. Throw in enough to cover the bottom of the pan, but not enough to make Barrett break your door down and beat you up for harming the environment for using oil. Saute the garlic until fragrant and add in a 28 ounce can of San Marzano tomatoes. Use these ones specifically, otherwise an Italian will break down your door and beat you up. Crush them up with the back of your wooden spoon and add a pinch of salt. Get a few leaves from your basil plant, I think I'm going to name mine Jasper, and add it to the sauce. Make sure they're clean before you put them in the pan. Give it a good stir, thank Jasper for the leaves, and let it simmer for about 45 minutes on medium heat. I'm transferring mine to the other stove top, making sure not to drop it while I wait for everything to get done. Once that's done, take one of your balls of dough and pat it out into a circle on a well-floured surface. Use semolina flour for extra points. These help the pizza slide off the peel, like kind of like ball bearings. Try not to pat it out too thin or this will happen. It did not go, but we all mess up though, and it's about trying again. So once again, pat out the dough, making sure not to stretch it out too thin this time. Make sure it slides around on the pizza peel like cloud will slide up on your girl if you get caught lacking. Throw on about a spoon of sauce and spread it out. Tear up some mozzarella and add that too. Make sure to cover the entire pie because mozzarella is really good. And lastly, some basil. The basil really brings everything to life, like Tifa when she saves Cloud's ass from falling off that building. Into the oven it goes on your pizza stone. Since I don't have a 900 degree wood fire oven, and since you probably don't either, we're just gonna have to make do with this pizza stone. It's gonna take way longer than an actual wood fire oven, about 10 minutes total. Rotate it halfway through so it cooks evenly, take it out onto your pizza peel, and throw on some extra basil. If you can't tell, I really like basil, but you really don't have to put as much as I am. I didn't know I had a pizza cutter, so I'm using a knife, like a loser. But cut it into equal pieces and try not to burn the shit out of the roof of your mouth. I don't care, so I'm gonna dig in immediately. And who would've thought, it was really hot like Sephiroth. But really, this was really good, and I will definitely be remembering this pizza for a long while. 